everyone, welcome back. Well, the holidays are near, your little ones are at home, and what better way to spend time with your family or your kids than in the kitchen? So today we're gonna to be making a strawberry shortcake. My partner, Gabe, is here to help me. Say hi. Hi. And you know, it's I love getting kids involved in the kitchen, having them try new things, you know, just having fun, you know, and, and having their creativity. So. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started, aren't we? We're gonna yeah. make a yummy cake, so here we go. Let's go ahead yeah. and get started. The first thing that you need to go ahead and do is we're gonna get some lined paper sheets for our prepared pans. So you're gonna get some parchment paper, wax paper, fold it in half, fold it in half again, and then you're gonna fold it like a cone, yeah. like an ice cream cone, right? Okay, until you get something like this. Yeah. Now you're going to take your pan and put it in the very center and you're going to cut around. Yeah. Yeah. Until you have a perfectly round circle and it fits right inside your pan. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. We already have two pans prepared. Yeah. So you're going to spray the inside of your pan, line it with the parchment paper. Yeah. And then we have these two... Um, Moisters, moisturizers, and you're going to put these around your pan. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and get our flour. Yeah. There you go. And we're going to sift our flour, our salt, and our baking powder all together. There we go. Put it all in there. Awesome, good job. And this is cake flour. You want to make sure you use cake flour, not all-purpose flour. Okay. The cake flour is a little lighter. It's okay. Go ahead and take this and put this in here. Yeah. Put that on top. Okay, that was just your salt. And go ahead and add the baking powder, Gabe. Yeah. There you go. Good okay. job. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and sift this. No, not that. Not that. And you're going to sift these together. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and set this aside. Hold on. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cream together our sugar. Go ahead and put that in the bowl, Gabe. Okay. Careful. There you go. And we're going to cream our sugar together and we're going to cream our butter. So get the butter. Wait. Uh -huh. put that. There you go. Good job. Okay. And we're going to get our beater and we're going to beat them together. So we're just going to cream this till the sugars and butter is combined, and then we're going to go ahead and add our eggs to that. Yeah. So go ahead and pick that up, put that right in there. Careful. There you go. Good job. Good job. And then you're going to, that's two eggs. We're doubling our recipe. And you're going to mix that in with the butter just until it's mixed in. Yeah, right? And then we're going to add our other two eggs in here. Go ahead and get the eggs. There you go. Good job. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our vanilla in. So get the vanilla. Take that up. Put that right in here. There you go. Good job. Got a little more. There we go. Uh-huh. It's okay. Now we're going to go ahead and take our flour, our mixed flour, and we're going to take our buttermilk, and we're going to alternately mix them in together. So we're going to do it half at a time. Hold on. I'll let you pour that in, okay? And I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. And you don't want to overbeat this mixture, otherwise your cake's going to become really dense, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's about it. You just want to beat it till it's mixed. Yeah. I'm going to slowly pour that in. Slowly pour that in. No more. No more. That's it. There you go. Good job. So we poured half our buttermilk in. We'll mix that up. And then we're going to go ahead and pour the rest of our flour in here. Yeah. Okay, not yet. And then go ahead and pour the rest of the buttermilk in, Gabe. There you go. Pour it in all the way in. Good job. Okay. Our cake mix. 
mix has just been mixed together. And what we're going to go ahead and do, you go ahead, you have, we preheated our oven earlier to 350, and then we're going to go ahead and pour our cake batter into these yeah, two different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me go ahead and get a spatula real quick. So we're go we just go ahead and divided our cake batter. We're going to make a third layer so we have some extra batter set aside. Yeah. We're going to go yeah. ahead and yeah. put these inside the oven in the center for about 20-25 minutes until it's baked. You can do this a day ahead of time so that way all you have to do is layer your cakes and put the cream and strawberries on top and we'll go ahead and show you that later on. So let's go ahead and put these in the oven. We have some cakes already set inside so we're going to go ahead and take those out. And then we're going to bake our third cake. And then tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and show you how to assemble your strawberry shortcake. That way you can have that already done for your party ahead of time. Well, thanks for joining us. Okay, so it's the day of the party, so we're going to go ahead and assemble our strawberry shortcake. First off, we're just going to pour some cream in here. We're going to make our whipped topping. Okay, add some powdered sugar. You can either use vanilla extract or you can use almond extract. We're going to go ahead and use almond extract today. chocolate strawberries you need to make three different piles make your ends pile make your slice pile and make your disposal pile so you're gonna cut the strawberry cut the top off put that top there and just make slices I like doing fairly thin slices but if you like them thicker then you can go ahead and do that and then just take the ends off and put them in that pile put the slices in there and with ends pile, we're going to go ahead and put those in the center just as a filling so they're not on top and visible. Okay, let's go ahead and assemble this um, strawberry shortcake. Okay, we're going to go ahead and assemble our cake. You're just going to take your cake out of your pan. Okay, put some whipped topping on top. You're going to take your stack of your ends, put that right there in the center. Take some of your slices. Kind of flatten it out just a little. More top whip topping. Looks good. Take your other ends. It's okay if they fall. We'll scatter some at the bottom. Take your slices and just put them around as much as you like, as little as you like, whatever. We'll take our last. We have some extra, so we're going to sprinkle ours around the plate. And you're done. That's it. We got our strawberry shortcake. Well, I hope you all enjoyed our video. If you did, subscribe to the left-hand side of our video so you know when our next video will be out. See you all tomorrow.